Now I'm only in my second year of high school, but I've already felt like I've seen enough. High school is such an interesting concept because it's a place where you can find the top of the top, smartest prodigies on planet earth, or the most athletic, LeBron 2.0, division 1 prospect, and giant to the left of him ready to ruin his whole career with his artillery. So obviously being so diverse and having people coming from all different cultures. High school would of course have disagreements, which leads to what some people think of when they think of high school. Bullying. Some niggas would really wake up top of the morning at 8am just to get shoved into a locker 20 minutes later. And this goes both ways. How do you wake up on such bad timing that you feel the need to shove a nigga into a locker? At that point I just feel like you need to do some soul searching. This is one thing I'll never understand cause school will implement all these events instead of dealing with the actual problem. Like anti-bullying day or, or pink shirt day. Like no matter which way you put it, Billy is still getting his ass beat whether or not you're wearing that fucking pink shirt. Schools really need to do something about the bullying problem, but I'm not gonna lie, some of you niggas need to get bullied. Which brings me to my next topic, the people. I don't understand how some people walk into a building wearing a dog collar around their neck and 30 inch Doc Martens. Like are you not embarrassed? And some niggas at school they just be acting like full on cornballs. Yo, could you pass the ball? And Jordan shoots from deep. Oh my gosh, no way that just happened. <laughs> these people need to get bullied. Then we got the niggas who be chuffing. Now these people, they don't really anger me as much, but it amazes me how they always manage to hit the pen in any situation without getting caught. Like you walk into the washroom. <laughs> Yo, come hit this shit. The teacher will leave the classroom for 0.2 seconds. You look to the left of you. Nigga, you could be in a liturgy listening to the word of God and without a doubt. Alright, the last thing I want to talk about is the school system's obsession with homework. A quick Google search shows you that the average human being stays awake for about 17 hours. So bear with me here. If we wake up at 8 a.m. every day and go to sleep at 10 p.m., which is the encouraged bedtime for a high schooler, we take two hours off to get to bed in time. Then we gotta sacrifice eight hours to school and one to two hours for getting ready and coming home from school. Then let's say you get two pages of homework for your two core classes you're completing this semester. So completing your homework, that's an extra two hours. And calculating all of that, it leaves you with, um, three, three, th three, three hours? Explain to me how anyone is supposed to have any healthy or positive social life or mentality with three hours of free time. School is really just an office job you don't get paid for with a bunch of other NPCs in the background. I swear to God, this is why I'm about to drop out. Every day.